Hey guys, welcome to my series, How to Play Phantom Forces. It's episode one. So, first thing you're going to do is go to the weapon loadout. Make sure that this bad boy is equipped. AK-12. Also, make sure you're at full graphics, because it just it just looks the best that way. Now you're gonna go back to the menu and make sure you deploy. Now let's start with the basics. W A S D is to move. Now the fastest no way of moving is to hold W like this. Now this is very fast, so if this is too fast for you, you can actually press C. That way you can get used to it before. Now let's go let's move on to some more advanced move techniques. So such as pressing space to jump. You can jump like that over things. And then usually you would press W, A, S, or D with the spacebar to move in that direction there. So if we see we gotta make sure to uh, keep our distance, that's the number one thing. Because uh, in this game, lots of people are good at close range. So if you just keep a nice safe distance, you'll probably be good. So currently I am looking for the last guy. Or er, the guy who I have just found. I found him. In case he decides to look again to peek that corner. Hmm. He does not appear to be peeking, although we did get an assist now. Assists are optimal because assists actually give you the most XP. So if you can get an assist, that's great. But let's talk about some more advanced things. Pressing 2 on your keyboard, 2 and 1, will switch between your secondary and the primary. Pressing 2 gives you out a very powerful pistol, but only use it in a very dangerous situation, as it is kind of a last resort. However, it works just as well as your primary, and I would recommend it for newer players. So as you can see, I'm not finding any enemy, but once I do, I'll tell you what to do there. Another thing is, turn your brightness down if the sun is too bright. In this case, I should be fine considering I'm wearing sunglasses, but it's always possible to make it something. Now I hear gunshots over here means it's a good idea to go that way. Now, now that was just me shooting. Now I'm going to show you some more advanced techniques such as holding the right click button. That way you zoom in. Now this is optimal in case you know there's an enemy nearby. Therefore you zoom in. This accompanied with shooting to make sure he cannot peak without is very powerful. Now, I'm currently having a hard time finding people. I'm, uh, I'm not sure why that is, considering there should be tons of people everywhere. But, let's talk about some more advanced things, such as, in case you think there may be an enemy, or just to clear a spot, simply throw around one of those bad boys, and it should stop them. You can deploy one of these by pressing G. Now, I am demonstrating this on my favorite map. Because this map is simply, is simply great. I just love this map. But, yeah, those are the basics. In the next episode, we will be getting into PvP, where you actually see enemies and shoot them. I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe, comment, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.